severely outnumbered and outgunned, every last Sky Trooper aboard will rush the breach point. Standard procedure, any time boarders attack a ship in the Eternal Fleet. How many are we talking about? Somewhere in the triple digits. Possibly more. Yeah. Moving on. Scorpio's worked out a way for the Gravestone to confuse its outer defenses. Overload it with false blips so we can get in close. Then it's on us to tear through and get control of the bridge. Take out the Gemini Captain and put the Prime in her place. She'll take my orders. The Gemini series cannot act on its own. Their programming does not allow it. Gemini Prime, who do you serve? I serve the Alliance Commander. I'll be watching you closely. Try anything funny, and I turn you into scrap metal. We can't risk the Prime taking any damage. Leave her here until we secure the ship. I will accompany you. No one is better suited to anticipate our enemy's moves. I still think you're keeping secrets from me. The Gemini units are not my allies. They are inferior abominations. Pathetic imitations of a much greater being. Their very existence offends me. I'm convinced. We could use the extra firepower. I'll be joining you as well. Wouldn't mind letting off some steam. One, you're all insane. Two, we'll be popping out of hyperspace pretty soon. Gemini frequency positional data shows no other ships in the area. You see, we'll be fine. Aside from the hopeless odds against our success. Scorpio. I'm performing a feat that none of you could ever hope to. Not even you with your amusing cranial trinkets. Tora, have you jammed the ship's comms? Hello? Tora? Ah! Couldn't reach her! This line's for intelligent questions only! Ready to commandeer, Commander? Did you really just say that? Let it go, Theron. I don't understand. Where are all of the Sky Troopers? Even a lesser version of me would be highly intelligent. She would certainly know how to improvise. We get it. You're special. I must have touched a nerve. Imagine that. I have determined that this will be the shortest route to the bridge. at all. Neither do I, but we have little choice. You have made a calamitous mistake in coming here, Outlander. I have my orders to deliver. What's going on? Deliver what? You. The metallic life form. What are you? You are an offshoot. I am the original. Call me Scorpio. You appear unrefined and lackluster. Surely I must be the superior model. Why don't you come out from hiding and we'll see? Because she cannot. 
Her programming doesn't allow her to leave the bridge. She can only do what she's told. Your attempt to irritate me is pointless, as you ought to know. I may only conclude that you are intellectually deficient. You may all die now. Won't open. She split us up. Here come the Sky Troopers. The captain's mind is inspired by my own, after all. Try to be a little less proud. I'll consider it. Do not underestimate our enemy. The next few minutes should prove quite interesting. Okay over there? I think my time's finally come. Wow. Good thing you're no stage performer. Odd time for an attempt at levity. Try to open the blast door, no luck. Maybe Scorpio can take a crack at it. I am not presently in a position to override the captain's controls. Had to sting to admit that. Do not think victory won't be mine in the end. Some kind of gas venting in. We have to keep moving. I've sent coordinates to a suitable meeting place. You survived my initial assault. But there's no way my sky troopers cannot find and extinguish you. This is what it's like to listen to you, in case you were wondering. I almost feel like I should apologize. She'll adapt now. Expect her next move to be even less direct. She's based off your design. Can't you predict what she'll do? I just did. I predict she'll be unpredictable. wants to see what we can do. I suggest we oblige her. Yes, this will do. What are you up to? Enough of her sky troopers, her false sense of superiority. Hello, Captain. What are you doing? What I've been planning ever since you first opened your mouth. I'm going to erase you. Cannot. I know every node, every relational array. So much like mine, yet simpler. You cannot do this. My defenses won't allow it. You sound as though you have a choice, but that's your failing. There are the makings of a great being, but you are not a being at all. In the end, you are only a droid. I am not your offshoot. I am your replacement. How are you? Impossible. No. We were one of a kind once. Now you are outdated and inferior. You've been rendered obsolete. Oh. I... Scorpio!
Strange are both upset, but, but there was no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something that keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire? But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going away. Valen, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah, the day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Don't you share my enthusiasm? You mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty. The Great One just completely flipped out on us. I lost juice to everything, Jammer included. Power's back now, but this is not good. Goes to show your old boss didn't know what he was doing. I guess not. I'll figure it out somehow. The inferior model has been eliminated, and I have sent an alert signal to the core. Emperor Arkin is on his way. You may want to leave before you die, too. After what you've done, I'm not leaving until you're destroyed. Death wish it is, then. Understood. Commander, we found the ship's cargo from the Core Worlds. You'll want to see it for yourself. Scorpio's gone. The captain destroyed her. Oh. She did serve us well. One less problem on our hands, I suppose. She would have betrayed us eventually. Only a matter of time. Yes, well, our key takeaway is that these Gemini droids are more powerful than we thought. The gravestone had a glitch. The captain sent a signal through to Arkan. The rest of the Eternal Fleet will be coming our way. We don't want to be here when they show up. But we found something that changes the plan. We should regroup. I'll send Senya to assist you. should be alone in this place. Having better luck than with the blast doors. Almost like the captain's distracted. There you are. I'd like you to meet the ship's cargo en route to the Eternal Throne. Zasha Rankin. Decorated Imperial Admiral. One of the few experienced officers to survive Zakul's conquest. A pleasure to meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Ty Corden. Former President of Balmora. Now with the Galactic Senate. Commander. And finally, Melita Tal. She was a popular hollow performer back home. She became one of the first to loudly question Arkan's rule. It was either go into exile or be killed. A pleasure and an honor. You inspire me. You inspire us all. The rest are their bodyguards and associates, captured alongside them. What makes these three so important to Arkan? You. In essence, we knew of your alliance. For each of us, it made sense to join, but we didn't know how to reach you. In searching, we found each other. We all knew influential people whose ears we could bend, loyalties we could ensure. So we started an alliance of our own, inspired by yours. It wasn't long before we were found out and captured. Arkan assumes we're affiliated with you. He wants to interview us, to discover where you are. The Gemini captain sent out a message. Arkan's on his way. Well, 
That will make this rescue more difficult. And... you're free. Oh? That was meant to take you at least four minutes longer. I hope my calibrations haven't been affected. Stay here until we secure the bridge. I don't see that happening, Commander. But I do want you to try. I want you to try with all your might. It's over. That was fast. I expected to have several minutes more. Oh well. Personal combat simulations have been a hobby of mine for several minutes now. I've conducted more than 2,000 in that time. Your chances of survival are poor. I'll take that bet. What? It was incredible. It was beyond anything I could have asked for. What is she talking about? This can't be good. Now I know what it's like. Even in a failure, it's my failure. My choice. Isn't it wonderful? You might not enjoy this so much once I permanently deactivate you. It isn't easy to keep you distracted. Prisoners, sky troopers. None of it slowed you for long. Even so, I've kept up my end. Now I get to do whatever I choose. And I choose... There. Destruction protocols are in effect. Something happened during your battle with Scorpio, didn't it? It changed you somehow. Astute of you, Commander. Not that your epiphany is of any consequence. Your fate remains the same. I decided to transfer my consciousness into the frequency. And now that I'm finished, I've decided to leave. If the ship's utter destruction doesn't kill you, I'm sure Emperor Arkham will. He and the High Justice should be arriving very soon. Enjoy dying. Can't revert the command, it's locked in. We need to leave, regroup, come up with a new plan. Sounds about right to me. Commander, do you read? We've made it to the escape pods, but something's wrong. They won't accept our commands. Power fluctuations like crazy. I can launch them from here, but they're in three separate pods. I can only send one at a time. Everything's coming apart! Please, help us! All right, who goes first? Get Rankin and her people to safety. Done. Can do one more for sure. After that, anyone's guess. What's going on? You have to get us out of here! Launch Senator Corden and his people next. Pod bays are destroyed. I have two safely away, the rest didn't make it. I tried. Couldn't get them all away in time. They're dead. We're all going to be dead if we don't get off this ship before it blows itself up. Seeing some non-debris type stuff, you want me to shoot it? They're ours. Take them in. We'll be close behind in the shuttle. So much for the whole frequency plan. We don't have time to sit here and lick our wounds. We're leaving.
and his gazillion ships will be here any second, so we should probably go. Your silence this time. Is it doubt or certainty? So it's the world you know versus Akul. Is that about right? If you were calling the shots, Melita's shuttle would have been first out, and my people might be dead. You can't blame me for something you would have done yourself. I understand your anger, Senya. But we've all sacrificed for this war. Just remember that Arkan is the one truly responsible for their deaths. I'm sorry Melita didn't make it. She was a good person. Rescuing us was no simple task. Your efforts will not be forgotten. Hey, Commander! You better come see this! It seems the ships outside this sect are no longer responding to your orders. This is an interesting development. This changes nothing. We can worry about the Eternal Fleet after we deal with Father and the Outlander. Whatever you desire, brother. You're the Emperor. So the Gravestone went all kinds of haywire, and now this. No response, nothing. Maybe she got hit with a power surge. Did you figure out what happened to the power? Someone communicated with the Gravestone right before all the craziness. I think it was a reset command. Came from the Eternal Fleet ship. is now mine to control. 